F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. How you doing, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews with friends request friends to watch The Sopranos season six, episode ten, titled Mo. And Joe. Hmm. Mo and Joe. Mo and Joe? I don't know. Mo and Joe. All I could think of is Mo, 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 Mo Tassanti, maybe? I don't know. But we already <laughs> got Mo Tassanti last episode. I feel like we might go back to to uh, Vito. Maybe, maybe just Mo and Joe. You know, maybe a play on words with two men. Like, I don't know. Shit. Uh, either way, y'all already know. We always appreciate what, Sopran uh, what Sopranos brings to the table. So I'm ready for it, man. Mo and Joe, season six, episode 10. We close to the end of 6A, right? I think there was like 12, 13 or something like that. So mm -hmm. I'm ready to get to it, man. It's going to be it's gonna be bittersweet when we close this series out. But we here for you right now. How you feeling over there, brother? I'm feeling good, man. You're absolutely right. We, we closing up on the season. Halfway there. Um... I don't know. I, th that title kind of got me baffled. I'm really curious to see what we're about to dive into. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, we got the veto situation, but we also have, you know, I don't know if they're going to address this any more than they already did. Uh, the, the AJ situation, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. is that ever going to be, you know, fully addressed? Because the man really did just try to kill Unc. Obviously, Tony said he was going to keep it away from Carmella. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to see what's like if that's gonna spell out and then cause some uh, disturbance within the family. Mm -hmm. But either way, like former said, man, we ready. We ready to dive into this one. All right, so we ain't gonna hold y'all any longer. We just gonna fly right in. Y'all know what to do with the video. Drop your likes. Make sure you comment down below and most importantly subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button. Click the bell. Get notified when we go live. Let's go. How you doing? Yeah, say it, man. Why you want? Why you want to take so long to say it? Cause yeah. yeah. Get yourself a gun. Especially if you're around. Vito, like I said, look at that. Vito landscape. That says Vitro. <laughs> oh, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real, nigga. Where's the R at? I'm hella blind. How much longer do I have to keep doing this on the R? Uh... I appreciate that, Tony. Don't get me wrong, but... You're a selfish prick, Sal. Wow. You know that? Her husband's in jail. Don't you think this is the time when Mrs. Sacramone needs you the most? Hmm. Okay. So he doing Johnny's yard for free? And he, uh, he's heard about it? Damn. Mm. They estimate your net worth at $5 million. Mm. Well, Ginny lives on scraps. Is this all part of your plan, Ron? Make me so fucking depressed that I hang myself? <laughs> it's my obligation. To raise the idea again of cooperating. What? Let me explain something to you again, Ron. But differently. <laughs> Being a rat, where I'm coming from, that's like asking a person where you're coming from to become a fucking Nazi. Mmm. Hmm. That's a good way of putting it. I was wondering what, what he was going to I was going to make him see. That man oh. Johnny real though. He said, I'm net worth five mil while Jenny living on scraps. He always worried about sweet old Jenny. She's your little twin. Bacala's got no fucking genes at all. <laughs> Never miss a chance to shit on him, do you? I'm joking. Come on. She looks like you, that's all. I don't know why you just can't admit that you blame us that you got shot. Mmm. It's kind of crazy. Just a little bit, but then potentially y'all could have been in the you don't blame me for the shooting? Well, you fucking blame me for something. Yeah, the Damn. baby. You know, marrying the boss's sister, usually it's a step up. But you keep your goddamn foot on our necks. You punish Bobby because he's my husband. Mm. Stop, uh... To be his age and not to be a captain. Merciless ridicule about his weight, about his model railroading. He's a grown man. Oh, but it's okay for Neil Young. He owns Lionel. Okay. We was worried about her last episode, the way she was shitting on Bobby, but... Dominica. No matter how much help I gave, you'd still be here fucking complaining. <laughs> oh, my God. 
God. Damn. There's nothing holding us together but DNA. Ouch. I really want to know if Bobby even wants to uh, be a captain. I think he do, man. Before his wife passed, I think he was on the road to some good stuff, low key. Mm. Like his wife passing kind of derailed everything. I can't believe this. I was, uh, is this what you're doing all day? I knew there was a reason you wouldn't let me read the galleys of your book. I'm doing research. I guess Rocky Marciano was a fan of the Greyhounds because I found a fucking trifecta box ticket in my trash. Mm. See, bro, I was worried about their relationship. I told you, man, these <laughs> they started off with a bang out. It's going to end with a bang out. <laughs> mm. Sports writer. I mean, here we are talking about taking the next step in this relationship. Next I asked step. you to share my home and you can't even be straight with me. Move in? I'm not a writer, okay? I'm not from Scottsdale. Mm. He about to tell tell. Mm. Are you drunk? It's not even 11 o'clock. You think it's easy? I miss home so bad my heart's a fucking lump. I'm barely holding together. Wife and kids. Of course. <laughs> I've been divorced for a few years. Where do they think you are? Maybe I can help you get work. I know some people could always use a good handyman. Okay. Starting off good so far. Man, does Vito actually know shit though? Cause they used to just sit around doing nada, nada, nada. Happy birthday. Thank you. She looks Hi, Sal. <laughs> they had to plug that in, like. Damn, wow. caught him in a mope. We out here doing this shit for the freebie, y'all. You here. feel me? Jenny, that kitchen. His room, the light. Not his decision to make. Mm, I'm running that job, not him. Solid. My days are completely full. Mm, I should. Hey, it's your Energy birthday. Still. <sighs> <laughs> she said, you ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> she even tried to fight it a second time. Okay, Vito going all out on the road, huh? He like, <laughs> hey, getting spoon and anything. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the train, though. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is embarrassing. I'm getting second-hand embarrassment like, when I see Bobby now. Check out the Mo and Joe action. There we go. Mm. Mo and Joe. You know what? Let's do a race. The Polar Express one. We could trash. I can't. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. What's happening to this? Son? That shit ain't. It's not where it's at right now, bro. It's not. Tony, I've been very patient with you because you've been sick. Mm. You were going to talk to the building inspector. It's crazy. I was going to bring this up the other episode. I sent uh, little Paulie. Now he made some headway with the, the supervisor, but the other guy, the inspector, he's a piece of work. Next, I'll get Shell on it. Tell him right now, Tony. So right I'll now. pay a visit to the Montville <laughs> Building Department. There we go. To what end? To what end? I promise it calm. I'd lean on this inspector and completely went out of my head. The guy's name is uh, <laughs> Ron Sankowski. Look <laughs> how still looking at that shit. <laughs> Is this a funny ass character, bro? <laughs> Johnny's a silent partner in this heavy equipment leasing thing in New Orleans. Good. Fema's down there handing out Kruger and some buckets. <laughs> he said post Katrina, you had some knowledge of business mm. in the area. Well, let me say this: uh, Dick Cheney for president this of the fucking universe. <laughs> wow. Says Phil Leotardo shouldn't be involved. Wow. They're both. Just know John's asking as a friend. <laughs> That's crazy. They're both trying to keep it hush from each other. You feel me? Every single one of them ain't greedy. <laughs> sleeping the on the job. What the hell's this? A siesta? What? <laughs> I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> I was resting my hips. <laughs> <laughs> my hips. I was supposed to have surgery. That man had the full spread out. Like I've never heard that. Pillows. Rest in my hips. I am interviewing a new contractor for my spec, Bill DeGilio. He built the Sacrimony House. And he did decent workmanship. Ginny says he works for a price. You know, your father did this house. And it was uh, more than decent workmanship. Mm, really? 
I mean, but that's when he was able to. That man can't. Uh, remember, just a little while ago, that man fell off the roof. <laughs> Why do you suddenly care so much about my dad? Hey, that's the homie. He 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 said he didn't want his own birthday party unless Tony was there. They get <laughs> <laughs> back. Anyway, she was all upset. She said that uh, I was mean to her and her husband. What did you say? Well, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> she's right. Mm. <laughs> yep. I love it when I can take a shit on her and her husband. Damn. Mm. I that loved about? it. Even when they told me that Uncle June might need diapers, I thought about Bobby having to change him. <laughs> I still get a kick out of it. <laughs> wow. This, this... this is Mr. Tony Oni. He a kid, bro. He like a little. You two have never he really gotten along. Well, not never. She was my older sister. I thought she was pretty cool. And I remember one time my parents left her in charge. And... Dictatorship. Go ahead. Exactly. Go ahead. Don't stop. Don't change scene. But she stood in the hallway and she tape recorded me and Bob having a fight. I've been coming here, what, I don't know, five years now, and you still don't understand what it means to tape somebody in my family? You still don't fucking get this? <laughs> that nigga wildin'. Yeah, therapy ain't, ain't, ain't helping Tony out, no. Did you pick up the birthday cake for Jim, the, the marzipan flowers? The stuff behind the pool? No, an actual fucking cake. <laughs> He's stupid. Yes, they had the cake. It's her birthday. I told you, I man, it got to go easy on this man. He was a civilian. He said, I can't talk like this. A.S. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Because you remember there was times where it was just like, how did they even get that out of that conversation? Like, I was going to say some fire department shit. What's going on? Pastor heard water running one down. Basement's flooded, and they're trying to shut down the pipe. But the pastor's trapped standing on a milk crate. Okay. This is what I was worried about, though. He gonna do some heroic shit, get him on the fucking news, on a newspaper or some shit. What the fuck did I tell you? Fuck you, the guy was gonna get cooked. What are you trying to be, a big man? Back the fuck off. What the what? fuck, Jim? Yeah, why is he so pressed that he did that? Right? Is it because he knows about what's going on? I gotta say, I thought you guys were morons for doing this shit. But now I can see it's a fucking rush. Look how he's looking at him. Well, this is all bullshit talk anyway. You're probably going to forget this crap hole. The minute you hear from your publisher. Ooh. Mmm, by some young niggas. Ooh, God is fucking... Oh, This is bad. Damn. Three G. Oh, You got what you want. Oh, please. Oh, this nigga. What? Yo. Yo, if this nigga wouldn't have closed his eyes, he was really about to body this on some. I. What? This is bad. A soprano already hate this. Shit. Think he weak. He gonna find out he got beat up by a little bunch of young black kids. Yeah, it's not looking good for Bobby right now, man. <clears throat> That was wild, though. <laughs> For a that second there, crazy. I thought he was done. You took John's loan. He helped you expand. Now it's time to cash in. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Soprano, that's what I've been saying all along. Mm. Fifteen years of womanly company, but I had to come all the way to New Jersey to get truly fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm doing this just a favor to John. What the hell and is I don't age gap, though? He said little sis. So we got a problem here. No, older. sir. I'm buying a boat. Oh, yeah. Nightly routine. Heard about Bobby Bacala? Here we mm. go. Yeah, my sister called with the uh, breaking news. That fucking part of Newark? Even the cops don't go there no more. Damn. Speaking of that, what, uh, whatever the fuck happened to you with the uh, prostate? Yeah, well, actually, what happened? T, I've been dealing with some shit. Cancer, tell you the truth. What the fuck, Paul? Did he get that test? It was early. Maybe I caught a break. Are oh, you all right? You know, the hair and shit. <laughs> Not good, huh? <laughs> think he did the Dougie real quick, but I can't lose this. Okay, so you got the biopsy results. Damn. Your ears on me. Absolutely. Paulie got cancer. Yeah, but Bobby. <laughs> 
Should have seen him. Oh, yeah. a patch over his eye like Hathaway. He was really rattled. I want to hear his story. Is he going to say it was kids or some grown motherfuckers? What? What? Don't give me that look. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that he looking niggas. like a penguin, yo. Yo, for real, like the angry bird, like or them niggas from Happy Feet. Nah, surfs up. I ain't, I ain't never even seen that. I twenty years and ninety percent of his assets makes trial seem like a risk worth taking, and twelve years for conspiracy to commit murder. Get back to me when you're sober, Ron. Mm-hmm. When you sober, it, it is asking for a lot, though. Trains are kicking ass here. I'm going to Eric's. Watch the charges. Mm. What channel's that on? Some people aren't too cheap to buy the satellite package. Mm. Sit down. This is a giant's house. AJ didn't have to come to Sunday dinner. AJ has a job. Do you want to go get a job? Go ahead. <laughs> but first, go get your last report card and read it out loud to everybody. Damn. Damn. Put you on the spot. Damn. I hate this fucking house. I thought so. Now go finish your Spanish report before dinner. Damn. Damn. You ain't even going out. <laughs> Ooh, Baba Jen is not playing, boy. <laughs> Tony like, damn, I'm not the only one going through it. I can't. Fucking Janice attracts drama. She she creams over the misery. Damn. That's a... Does she remind you of anyone? It's a nasty thought. Ma Dukes. <laughs> Say it. When we were growing up, she she had something, you know. She, she had beautiful hair, and she was built. And guys your age were always buying me ice cream, uh, giving me baseball cards, kissing my ass to get in go with her. <laughs> the little brother. <laughs> you weren't sexually threatened? Oh, Jesus Christ. Will you make up your fucking sick mind? <laughs> First is my mother, now I want to fuck my sister. <laughs> that nigga's stupid. You describe her as built. All those afternoons in your father's office playing house. Mm, I knew she picked up on that playing house comment. She a shrink. She about to shrink your shit, boy. <laughs> Tell you what I inherited. What else? My mother. What of substance? Dennis got laid. She took off. She laughed at all this shit. Then the trip's over, and she's back, and she's one of us, and she wants her peace. Mm. Well, let me tell you, she gets nothing. Cause I got the scars, mm. so it's mine. <laughs> that was crack, so Did you see that man's eyes? Mm -hmm. Jesus yeah. Christo. Whoever wrote that did, did they thing? I'm gonna say, Fuck who the writing, it? nigga. The acting. These are going crazy. Remember when it was only the women who was beasting on the screen? Like these. <laughs> these and figured it out. Thought I'd make a little dinner, like we do back home. Oh, shit. Are we about to get Last of Us on us? We got... Uh, Just think it's stupid. <laughs> pasta badan, macaroni and potatoes, real pesto. Is this where they got the inspiration for that scene? Mm -hmm. A little's a lot. Pork chops and vinegar peppers. Uh, <laughs> okay. I like that. I fucking I never seen shit. that before. I gotta say. Man, I can see why. Can nah, facts, because that shit look fire. They got mm -hmm. the fresh bread and everything up on you that bit. salt pepper out there. You gotta wait for that. Yeah, he said that's dessert. <laughs> You're the night and you cut the power to the church. Let's hear it. What? I was a real dick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was only because I was worried, you know? Something could happen to you. Mm. It's a nice thing. Love you. Yep. And we knew that was coming. I love you, Johnny Cakes. Mm, Johnny Cakes. I'm telling you, bro. Next episode, they're going to be walking down the aisle, son. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it out of this episode. Bro. <laughs> the way this shit, going. this shit got me worried. Nah, facts. Hour and a half. Lunch. <laughs> he thinking about that thing. <laughs> the halfway point. This nigga a real worker these days. Uh huh. Don't look at it. Mm hmm. Treat yourself. Oh, that's how you know he at work, bro. That's yep. some real work shit, bro. Maybe five hours. This shit hitting too hard. 
Yo, that's some real. Yo, don't look at your don't watch. Don't look. Halfway. Look at him. Putting in the work, though. I'm not for real, though. It looked like he building a me. whole fucking crib. Look at what the angle doing? of the sun. Mm. This man said, look at the angle of the sun. He trying to get to his roots to figure out the time. <laughs> Did that shit say 955, nigga? Yes. yes. Oh my god. Yes. He said quarter to 12. Oh, for real, the angle of the sun. He had it locked, he had it locked down. <laughs> he about to have a long day. Those are the worst. <laughs> You'll see. Oh. Mm, the closet empty. Drawers empty. Oh, Scheiser. He went back home. The life is too boring. You keep the home, the 45K in equity from the girl's variable life insurance, and Jenny's IRA, which is worth about 110 grand. Or go to trial. What about the wow. Yukon? Jenny needs her Yukon. Do I have to do the allocution? You know the allocution is always part of it. <laughs> Practically the whole point. I'll take it. Mm. Man. I'll state my case. Mm. We about to get some drinking and driving shit. Drunk accident. Uh oh. Mm. We sleep together at Jeffrey's apartment, and Finn sleeps on the floor half the time, and I'm right there for him. Okay, well, honey, when you're living in show and some guy, you can't expect living him to try. <laughs> lordy, lordy. Tony Fuck was you not prepared. about this shit. <laughs> Unprepared. You know she that guy at the building department yet? I was going to go on Friday when the schedule's a looser. Well, don't. I knew it. He needs Carmella around. If she's busy doing other shit. Oh, shit. Are you? Damn, are you? he up under them. The fuck you doing parked out here? <laughs> Excuse me? Man trying to get his I'm mail. I'm getting my mail. You're driving like a maniac. How come your airbag didn't go off? Somebody took it out. They sold it. <laughs> Tony in this <laughs> shit. I'm really sorry. I, I was in a rush. I know he smelled ass so You admit it was your fault. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want an argument here. My place is just up the drive there. We'll call the police. They'll come right out. This old man about to get bodied for this shit. Don't do it, Vito. There it is. <clears throat> pop that glove compartment. Can you even get out? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you better off getting in his shit. Trying to push that stuff. There you go. The fuck? <laughs> well. <sighs> Vito spiraling out, y'all. Definitely not what He's I was coming to see you. Uh, my way home. Bro, this is exactly what we hurt. talked about. Uh, well, fuck fuck yeah. I was expecting more of his new boo thing to get pressed and poppy pop. Actually, but it's the house. He wants you to unload it to his sister at a reduced price. Half, actually. Damn. But the New Orleans thing. He'll knock 2% off his finder's fee, hmm. and he'll make sure those pricks sell. Mm. That's tempting. I guess beggars can't be choosers. Facts. You're not in that position, Johnny. Yeah, I was going to say, does Jenny even know her fucking house about to get sold? Like she said, she don't even use that damn room anymore. She might as well. Yeah, I meant to tell you, um, he didn't have any luck with that inspector. Really? You're kidding? No. Sorry about that. Oh. Did he bring him a gift? <laughs> a gift. Yeah. So how hard did he lean on the guy? Mm -hmm. Um. What you want him to kill the man? You feel me? Didn't you? Well, look, the guy said no. How far you want to push this thing? Get that new inspector, Carm. Get that how new inspector. How far? All my planning for a fucking year. 
and they let people build those fucking monstrosities. Damn. Tony really sabotaged though. That's cold. For a large diameter. Damn. Okay. She not with it. <sighs> but she know she ain't nothing she could do neither. Okay. Beggars can't be choosers. Sacrimony allocated in the hmm. court. He got Johnny right though. Fucking nauseating. Are you fucking kidding me? You don't ever admit the existence of this thing. I did 20 fucking years. Mm. Nice. Wow. I like that they showed oh, that part. Oh, shit. I like that they showed that, man. They always gotta, we got to get it from all perspectives, yes. man. They always show that fucking side of things, and it's just never good. Johnny Sack pleaded guilty. It was just on the radio. Mm. He got 15 years. Yep. So what's that mean about you, Tony? Who are you? <laughs> that just confirmed. Oh, shit. Fuck. Loki forgot this man existed. Oh, 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 oh the Mozzie's his asset. asset. Wait a fucking minute. That shit was, you they ain't no paper. Yeah. Fuck. I got a spot in the garage. I went in for half an hour with tops. Deucebags make that a red zone? It's a seizure order for all assets <clears throat> belonging to John Sacramoni. You like it so much? Buy it again. Wow. You're fucking insane, you cocksucking motherfucker. Woo. Talking like that, I'm going to get a truck out here for you. Oh. Yes. You as Marshall. Man. I think that piece of shit was my friend once. Hope he dies in there. I wish I was on the courthouse steps to throw answer in his face. Damn. Just a distance myself. Just a distance myself. <laughs> this thing about Johnny, can I? He about to get beat up, man. His I, I've been meaning to ask you, uh, I was just wondering about the Sacramony place. What about it? Well, not that Mr. Sacramony is guilty. Yeah, this is going to be there now. You, you think I can maybe take him off my roof? What the fuck did you just say, Sal? Damn. I don't know. He said I don't know. Fucking lawnmower, man. He just said John was guilty, T. Mm. Don't be smirched a man, Sal. Hmm. So about the yard. You believe this fucking guy? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Shit, he tired of that big-ass yard for free. You're done with that. There you go. Let fucking Bacala handle that. Nah, he good. Nah, he just a random so, side man. character. He fucked his ass up. Damn, he made it all the way home. He looking at Satrials right now. Tony? Yeah. No one's ever done something so, so. Okay, Janice. Man, give your sister a hug, man. <laughs> you got the wine? We're almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, definitely. Man, she's such a. She's she's great, actually. She's a great actress. <laughs> no one knows what goes on in my head. What's the matter? Oh, honey, it's okay. That nigga totally stupid. Oh. He's like, yes, oh, this is her when she's happy, y'all. <laughs> Your husband still ain't captain, though. <laughs> Just because you got that house. He don't need to be. Not with that big old house. He, he need, need to be need captain, to be captain. The, for the upkeep, nigga. Shit. Nah, you Damn. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely <laughs> right, bro. All right. There you have it. The Soprano Season 6, Episode 10 in the books. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this one was dope, said I liked it. They they actually included a lot in this one. Um, like a lot, bro. Like they got Vito's story moving, they got Johnny's story moving, like they got implications over there on Phil's side. Like mm -hmm. we got the, like yeah, bro. They got the, yeah, man. Like, okay. All right. This is this is where we want to be, especially coming towards the the sec the first half uh finale we gotta uh, i'ma double check i know brolic now nah, i'ma double check what uh how far 6a actually goes so we can know like what to is this gonna be the the finale banger like because mm -hmm. we obviously getting close with as much information as, as they dumped on us um with this episode so yeah man nothing but good things coming from me how you feeling over there brolic yeah it was a dope episode definitely for sure like you said there was a lot of things turning when it comes to the main plots of this season 
And I, I'm excited to see where these next two, if that's what we have left for the season. I'm excited because that means that these two are going to be bangers. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, coming to the to the end of this episode, obviously what has me most excited is the Vito situation. Hmm. Vito is back in town, and I'm just wondering how that's just going to play out in general. Like, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's dive into this one. All right, so before we get into Vito and Johnny, man, we know we got to touch up on that boy Bacala, man. We got to touch <laughs> up on that boy Bacala, man. Come on. The, so, I mean, there's not too, too much that, that I really want to get into. Like, I do appreciate the fact that, like, how, like I said before, Tony's communication this season is 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 a lot better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, def it ain't, you know the average person of, of how you you know want to be but it's way way better than it's ever been and i appreciate that because i think that it helps him have better conversations with everybody specifically melfi um so i really do think it was dope that janice you know pressed him the way she did uh kind of got that shit off her chest let him know like um the way you treating us like i know i know that it's on purpose i know it's intentional you treat us like shit and he actually admitted to it, man. He actually went ahead and, and told Melfi that she was right. Um, but it's just really hard to be mad at that man when when we see Bobby's fucking <laughs> situations and, and scenarios that he's going through. He mm. still hasn't killed the hobby. I, and and I'm I'm still uh, on the side of you know it's he should still have a hobby, so I think it's fine. But um, I think we can agree that it's taken too much of his time like this man ain't i don't know how much he's earning because they don't really talk about that but mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure he's not the top earner um he's getting disrespected by his son yep fucking it's looking like little aj out there again um and then uh and then he pretty much got did dirty by kids like these these is these is kids that we've seen on the corner of the wire type <laughs> age and shit you know what i'm saying like those were the summer boys ages like these were some young ass kids and honestly if that little boy didn't close his eyes and actually aim that gun bobby would not be he wouldn't have made it to the end of this episode so i'm really just kind of like i'm really curious what they're gonna do with this man basically because i think he was on a pretty good trajectory before his wife died and then after that it was just game the fuck over and it just sucks because tony's like you know janice just brings drama everywhere with her so it's like damn is it really the curse of janice like or did bobby just get too comfortable like what's going on uh yeah i, think, I don't think he got comfortable i just think he just doesn't care as much like uh, he lost his passion you know i think ever since losing his wife it, it hasn't been the same with him and then having janice in your life ain't ain't you know ain't gonna help with that as much and i think that's why the whole train thing is a part of his his routine now because he kind of uses that to escape from janice um well what i what i really you know is that fair though is that fair to think? say is that really fair to say though like because like they they have had we have seen janice you know be a little negative towards bobby but like a little can we really blame him spending all this time in choo choo train land on fucking janice brad like i feel like that i feel like that's pulling a, away from his accountability son like i mean it is what it is I, that's how i that's how i see it you feel me that's how i see it like <laughs> going playing out because did, did he even have this obsession when he was married to his wife i don't think so right Nah, but they didn't really, thing. they didn't show much of his personal life neither. That's, That's what I was saying. Like, he was on a good trajectory. He was a, he was a gangster. Mm -hmm. Like, that was that. Like, he was a thug. Like, they did show that he cared about his kids and shit. I won't say that. Yep. Like, they, they, they showed that piece of him, but I, they didn't just show, they didn't show much of his home life. Like, every time yeah. we seen him in a house, he was with June. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, he, he was with Uncle June and shit, so. Yeah, it's kind of sad seeing him lose also to the kind of authority in the house as well. You know, his son mm -hmm. fucking pretty much telling him to fuck off. If, if Janice wasn't there, he would have been out the mm -hmm. door. Facts, you know I mean? nigga. Facts. And that's, that's a scary thought to have, especially when you're a man and your son is slipping like that. You got to be able to put the 
You gotta put some type of fear in that man. Something. You know, what I'm saying? at least something. a little something. You know, Tony he be taking it too far, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure AJ there's fear there. You know, it's just a tiny <laughs> bit. Um, so yeah, seeing that it kind of sucked. But um, I really, I really don't know what they what, what they got for Bobby for the rest of this uh this rest of the season. To be honest, I think that's pretty much it. Like I, I think he's just gonna be where he's at, making his money, doing his thing, and then. You know that uh, it it would be I mean, nice. He's to handicapped see him. right now. It would be nice remember. to see him kind of get something else for the simple fact that he got a new crib to kind of uphold because his son even said that you can't even afford satellite TV or whatever TV. So man, if he can't even afford like basically basic cable. Then that might have just been a dig, though. You know, you know how kids yeah. are. Like it, it might have been one of those. I mean, the only time I used to complain my mom about that shit was like, you know, HBO, Showtime and shit like that. You couldn't see none of them shit. <laughs> Back then, you had to pay for them shit separate. Facts, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with him neither. He's potentially injured with the... So he's, you know, one eye Willie out here. I wonder if he's going to get a new little nickname. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's kind of sad, like, because these characters, man, they getting... Ugh. I don't, I, I don't want to go into hypotheticals too much, but do you think if Bobby didn't get into that accident, do you think Tony would have gave the house to Janice? Oh, that's a really good question. Think he did it all for sympathy? Damn. Like Man, you said, he's probably... kind of running into bad luck. And that was like the final straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, wait, damn. Now I'm trying to remember the episode. Did he did he ask Johnny? Did he send the brother in law to Johnny with that request after Bobby got? Yeah, that was after Bobby got. Yeah. Yeah, I think he probably what was it? Yeah, I think it was I don't know, but <laughs> if it was, then yeah, I think he I think he did. I think he did. That's why he can't even turn to her and look at her. Like you said, hug your sister. He can't even do that shit because he know like everything's a transaction for him, like. Right. It sucks. It sucks to be that way though, because a lot of that comes from how you were brought up. You know what I'm saying? Like, didn't really learn how to love. Shit is transactional. And shit like that. Like, I, 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 I get it. I get it. So, yeah. unfortunately, Janice is a great actress though. I'm gonna just say that real quick. She's one of the realest. She's one of the realest act. Like, she's one of the realest. Uh, I don't even know what word. Performers, Drama characters. Queen. Not even that. I mean, she is a drama queen, but like when I watch her on the screen, like she's one of the people that I could just see like easily. Like, wow. Like this is this is a person that I can really visualize in real life as someone's <laughs> sister. Shit, even my sister. I could pull pieces of her and, and, yeah. and put into my sisters easily. Like, yeah. so it's just like, yeah, she's fire. All right, enough of Bobby and his uh, sob story. <laughs> Who we want to touch on? Phil or John first? I mean, Both. fucking Vito or John. I mean, oh, I, I'll say John because, you know, Vito, I guess we could save it for last since that was the last thing we've seen. Um, but the John situation, man, that th I wasn't thinking the entire time, right, that the process was going through that him ag pleading guilty would be such a big issue. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't really process that thinking, you know, because I'm not a fucking mobster. So, you know, I don't think like them. But when he said that, damn, even when Johnny said to the lawyer, like, if me becoming a rat, it's like you seeing someone else as a Nazi. Like, I love that comparison, but that's how Phil feels with him just pleading guilty. Yeah. So I wonder what this is going to what this is going to do for Johnny. Like, is this is this like a final stand for him? Like, is he done done? Um, and Phil remains. Both? It definitely, it definitely feels like the end of Johnny's story. I don't know if, I don't know if he's gonna get like whacked or anything like that. But it definitely does feel like they're gonna, they're getting ready to phase this man out. Like, um, and I do love the perspective that they chose to show us today because I wasn't thinking about it neither. But I can't lie. There's, there's always a piece of me, fucking, um, when I think about plea deals. Like, there's always a piece of me that there's a certain context where I do feel like you're still kind of a snitch if you take a plea deal. 
um because you're and admitting fuck, to some shit yeah yeah like and i remember when i when i got locked up i took a plea deal but i didn't give a fuck because nobody else was like, yeah, I ain't have no co defenders. It's yeah. just me. Like I'm, like, and I was like, shit, I got time served in pretrial. So what once I take this I'm plea deal, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, like, but at the end of the day, you you kind of are though. And then yeah. I guess to their point, it's guilty by association at this point. Mm. So if Johnny's pleading guilty to being in the fucking New York City crime, yep. then. Now we got to look at his brothers, his friends, his family, all yep. these other people who were construction workers and waste management and yep. this and that. And, oh, you said this person was my aunt and uncle that that my actual grandmother never says is my aunt and uncle mm. and shit like that. Everybody put in two and two together. So I really do love that they showed that perspective because from like a civilian uh, standpoint, we're looking at Johnny like he loves his family right yep. he's doing what he has to do to keep them safe and yep. and he is and we're right for feeling that way but on a side it's like nigga you fucking you fucked us like what the fuck like so that shit that was fire man and and this is like johnny's like oh and two now with phil he cried and then now he plays this... guilty <laughs> so it's just... Shit. That's just... <laughs> it's Ove. i love it yeah i love it I love it too, man. I can't wait to see where they where they go with that. Obviously, if Phil becomes boss, I think that's just, just going to be a dope move for them. Um, it's going to be interesting how he's going to move, though, if he does. Facts. We don't even got enough, enough, though. Like, we don't have enough Sopranos to really see a fleshed out Phil as the boss. Can you imagine, nigga? We might need a, a, a extra season seven, nigga. That's why they got the other half. They're like, oh, we can't end it like that. <laughs> Cause he, bro, I could, I can imagine that he'll be menacing, bro. Like, that like face. straight lead with fear, bro. Like, yes. no loyalty, respect, just all fear, nigga. Ooh, Let the chaos be good, man. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for all of it. I like that. I hope, I hope that's what we get. Mm. <clears throat> um, all right, yeah, man. Hopefully, Jenny lands on her feet, man. She got about. Like what nine hundred thousand to play with? Nah, yeah. I, I All right, they said they're taking even, four point one. Yeah, but not even that. She did. You got to think about it like that. All of that was just assets, you know. Oh, that was already including the IRA and all that. Yeah, so it's like you know what I'm Oof. saying. She took the hit on the house, which was had. Yeah. So, you know, she was yeah. only really getting forty five from I think like a four hundred one k or some shit like that. So she really yeah. don't have much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. After all said and done. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. And I always, I always try to calculate the cost of living, like I, like I think I know, but I really know I don't <laughs> fucking know, nigga. Because I'm like, wait, they in like 2006, so maybe she's all right with this much, but nah, nigga, you living that lifestyle for that long, nah, <laughs> it ain't never enough, nigga. You got to be where you been at or more. <laughs> like you can never go yep. backwards, nigga. Her snack, her <clears throat> snack drawer about to be light. Mmm. K O. <laughs> Damn, that's sad. That's sad. That's sad. But it's crazy though. They always, I like that they still always include like all the cast for the most part. Like even after um, Pussy, you know what I'm saying, got body, like they kept his wife in the mix. So I wonder if we are going to continue to see Jenny, you know, still kind of come I'll around so. and yeah, right? Like see, mm -hmm. see how life turns out for her. Like, mm -hmm. And then shout out to you, Johnny, man. I know, I know your crew hated that you played guilty, but I see what you did there for Jimmy. the right man. thing. Exactly. It's all you could do. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Let's get down to Mo and Joe, man. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? That's a trade. I know, right? <laughs> but they were Vito putting wood in the thing, so. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey they so was it's kind of. Those the. They're it was men Vito laying wood, ready. bro. Yeah, was... Exactly, men nah, laying wood. Nah, the, the whole Vito, the, the best scene in the Vito shit was that little work session he had. That right there, I think, oh. really just... <laughs> a little mind Just It, it felt yeah. so real. You feel me? Like, that's a real work day. Like, you feel me? Especially, mm -hmm. like, when you work. I When I used to work at Pepsi, it used to be like that for me. Like, I used to be like, man. Can't wait to get the fuck up out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm, about to eat, I'm about to eat. I'm about to smack the fuck out some KSC when I get out this bitch. And then I'll be like, don't look at your watch. Don't look at your watch. You looked at your watch. It's 10 o'clock. 
Mm-hmm. It's not even half the day not yet. Even like, lunch yet. Yep, that shit <laughs> so hurts. The, I, I love that. And then, you know, we get the whole uh, Johnny Cakes fucking waking up looking for, for, for Vito and us coming mm-hmm. to the realization that the man is going back to Jersey. Yep. <clears throat> This shit crazy, bro. We talked about this like two episodes ago, nigga. You will remember, bro? We was, bro. We yes. we came up with like yes. three or four different scenarios, bro. We was like, this nigga's gonna show up on the news, or this gonna happen, or we was like, they gonna get into a fight, or or Vito gonna get bored, like he gonna just go home or some shit, like. So we were wrong, but we were right, bro. Love, <laughs> love pushed them, pushed them too far, pushed them away. Mm. Yeah, but he made it so much worse by killing that guy now because oh, there's so much evidence on him there with the car crash. Yeah. So it's like it's going to be a fucking shit show. Like, it, yeah, it, for me, I feel like this next episode is going to be like, OK, Vito's back in town. But not only is Vito back in town, but the police is always also looking for him. Mm. So I feel like it's going to be a race. So who could get to him first? Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like is the police gonna get to him or are, are the the crew gonna get to him? So I'm, I'm that's why I'm kind of thinking that the next episode. Obviously I'm wrong. We know this. Um, well y'all know this. Nah, I like that thought though, cause cause Vito would be the perfect person to try to flip too. Oh, see, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking about the whole just him murdering that random civilian. Like yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. me? But. If it does come to that and they do get to him, he will be a perfect person to flip. Hell yeah. Because if the fucking... Because you already know. If the PD get him, the feds probably going to get wind of that. Oh, And fact. then they going to come swinging their dicks like, this is our... This is our fucking criminal. We're taking his ass. Like Yeah, and they know that he's gone too. Like They know yep. how, they know everything. So And they know he the perfect per- They The feds know exactly who the weakest links are. So Vito right now... Definitely one of the weakest links. So that man, I like that idea. Race to veto, they get right. Uh, That'd be dope. Like, because that'll thought... also expose the Sopranos. Because they would have to move mm. very like if the feds are on. Well, not the feds, but even just if even if just PD, local PD is on their ass. Mm-hmm. Can't just whack this nigga. Like they gotta. Yeah, it's gotta be done in a in a way that doesn't bring heat to you. So it's like. Oh shit! Could, 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 could Man, that be these what, predictions got nah, me excited? That's a but at the same time, I feel like I'm completely wrong. Like it don't no matter. Reason. I know. Hold on to this hype, cause they get that's what's gonna have us in the next intro. Like <laughs> woke up this moment, Beetle about to get the gun. <laughs> well, he already got one. So. Facts, he do in the glovey. But yeah, that's that is that. Yeah, that was, yeah, man. It, this show is really. It's just so good, bruh it is so hard so hard to explain how good it is that's how good it is it's good and i, I, I what, what i love about it too is that they bring real life kind of situations into the show as well the whole katrina thing like oh yeah um, them trying to kind of sway johnny on like you're missing out on a lot of money here because of what happened over there you know there's a lot of money to be made so i like i like that they pull real life things into the show it just makes it more way more believable and um, yeah surrounded. So I, that's one thing that I really do love about yep, the Sopranos. Uh, Katrina, right? That was 04, 03, 04. I don't know. If I'm not mistaken. I think that was oh. I think that was 03, 04 because that's when I was a freshman. And that's when people were like coming up from Katrina to go to school because mm, they couldn't fucking. I remember that. I remember they did. Yeah. I, all I remember is that Katrina was the worst in history since I've been alive. Like the worst hurricane. To every yeah, day. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that shit was. Um, yeah. I, well, at least in the U.S., I guess. Yeah, there's, yeah, There's yeah. been some terrible ones out, outside of the states. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely like tsunamis <laughs> and all other types of shit that don't even come close to what we got hit with. But yeah, you're right. But okay, O four cost of living is Jenny gonna be I right. I don't know. I don't know. Living in the Northeast, y'all know the Northeast has always been expensive to live in. Yeah. All right, man. So I, I think I'm pretty good here, right? We got all that off our chest. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vito's love story, <laughs> Bobby's situations. Yep, Johnny Phil, Tony doing his Tony things. All right. Yep. You know, I think I'm good. You know, my final thought would just be kind of about Carmella. Um, 
just kind of still curious about which way is she going to sway. She's obviously trying to she's, she's trying to find a little hustle, man. I think she's 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 at that point in her life where, you know, she wants that and um, to be a little bit more independent. And she keeps turning her nose up at uh, what's her name? Angie. Right. Over, yep, yep. over at Angie trying Angie. to because she see Angie doing her thug dizzle. And now she's getting shut down by Tony, which sucks because it's by sabotage. It would have been one thing if he actually tried and just kept getting shut down. But like, come on, Tony, like you really want her home, basically, so you don't have to just what Melfi said, like you you're OK with her doing her own thing as long as it doesn't disrupt your time. Exactly. And that is fucking that just sucks, like to have a partner like that. So and the thing is, it wouldn't have <clears throat> disrupted his time. So literally said I could get to it on Friday. Well, no, yeah. but her her being away would be disrupt her her having a hustle essentially would oh. be disrupting his time because okay. you see there was no there was no fucking food oh, around food. Okay, and then he has to fucking uh, <laughs> wipe metal's tears when she's crying about her boyfriend Go like he don't want to do okay you feel me like yeah yeah you're absolutely right about so that it's like, okay that's what, yeah okay it's fucking sabotage <laughs> Ter- terrible <laughs> terrible um, um so yeah hoping for the best for Carmela. I think my final thoughts would just be uh, I don't think we're going to see Buddy ever again. I think that was just the end of his story with Ooh. the Vito's. Oh, uh, Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I think he's for sure. For sure. That's it. Um, we won't be seeing him again. So, hey, Vito, man. Show us what you got this next episode, man. What you got for <laughs> us, bro? Because so I feel like it's going to be. Uh, a shit show, man. Fuck. You hear that shit? Nah, I didn't hear that. Uh, but I'm gonna give this episode a score. I'm gonna give this one a nine, bro. I think this I one was it. a dope ass episode. Like, they, they, they had my my heart dropped at, at a certain point. Obviously, when Bobby's about to get daddy boom bedded, <laughs> I Thank was girl. I was I was frozen. For a second, yeah. people were gonna be like, "Wait, did my shit freeze?" Like that's how frozen yeah. I was. So um, yeah, they they did some good things with this episode, and then you kind of bring it around <clears> the <throat> whole, you know, uh, Tony not having Carmela around because she's kind of you know trying to dive into other things, and that's kind of fucking Tony over supposedly. But uh, I like that whole conclusion of that. So I thought this episode was dope. Yeah, this one was great. I'm gonna give it a nine as well. I was, I, I, I felt that in my heart. I was like, these nines <laughs> is definitely coming. Cause, yeah, uh, as y'all could tell, we we love episodes like this, man. It was just, it was fun. It was exciting. It was, it was witty, and they gave us a lot. Like, and we deserve a lot because we come into the cl- the the conclusion of 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 six A. Like, so yeah. they gotta, you know, y'all know how they do. They gotta close close out a couple stories, open up a couple stories. Mm. And I'm loving some of the predictions uh, Brolic threw our way here, man. I'm just imagining Phil as a mob boss for at least 10 episodes. I would love that. And the whole race between the feds and, and, the, and the fucking mafia. Who can get to uh, Vito first? So, yeah, man. Nines across the board. Great episode. I'm sure y'all had a great time. I hope y'all had a great time. And if y'all still here rocking with us, y'all already know what's up. We appreciate y'all so much. Y'all keep us moving and grooving. You know what to do with these videos. Drop your likes. Comment down below. Let us know how you felt about this episode. Most importantly, if you're doing content like this, consider subscribing to our channel. We also have full-length watch-alongs, but you have to bring your own copy, of course. Patreon link will be in the description down below. F double R out. Peace. Peace.